Greetings, my beginner guitar students. We are on to lesson four, a lesson that none of you should be on yet because I just posted lessons one, two, three, like yesterday. Anywho, Happy New Year. Happy New Year's. Let's recap the first three lessons. Now, in case you're somehow stumbling upon this video after the other one, well, before the other ones, um, this, this is a series where I'm basically offering sort of weekly lessons. I'll, I'll post them far more frequently than once a week. Um, at least I will up to, to a point. Um, but it's basically exactly the stuff I teach my beginner students. And you will find that before 10 lessons are up, you won't, you won't be able to play great. You know, you won't be playing fast or anything, but you will know, you will have the information at your fingertips uh, probably more than a lot of the pros out there. They'll still be playing much better than you, don't get, don't get me wrong, but you, you, you'll start to have a much better under, understanding of the instrument than a lot of people who have been playing for far longer. The trick is to get, get the, um, the fundamentals, the foundation stuff. Uh, get it down. Be, be really solid with it. So, real quick, let, let's recap. The first thing we did was the C major scale. G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E. Then we'll do that ascending. We also did a digital pattern, just one, two, three, four, up and down. keep them all down all the time or the note will just stay the same but you go one two three four kind of keep them all down that seems to be more comfortable and you can do it backwards one two three four all the way back down and I don't know how much I emphasized this previously but you want your timing to be on so like if I'm a, I'm wearing socks so you can't hear it on my concrete floor, but you want to tap your foot and do um, quarter notes. Quarter notes are going to be one note per beat. All right. So if I'm going two, three, four. In the beginning, you might be inclined to do this type of thing. And then kind of pause. That's fine, just don't tap your foot beyond the point where you're at. So if I'm tapping, I'm going to be going tap, 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 tap. And if it takes me a second, uh, my foot's going to be waiting there for the next note. You want your foot and your hands and your music to be synchronized. I guess I could do my head, right? And same thing with the scale. Fast and even, that's even better. But slow and even is better than this. You want to you be able to play in proper time. Uh, the next lesson, the third lesson, we just went over the world's most popular, common, most loved chord progression. The 1, 5, 6, 4 in the key of G. And that's a G chord. Two. D, two, three, four, E minor, three, four, a little out of tune, C, two, three, four, and uh, I should go back. Before that lesson, we went over the the eight most common chords, the 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 basis for most strummy, you know. Type of stuff, and that's the caged chords C A G E D, all major, so C major, A major, G major, G. You don't have to say major if you say play a G, it's assumed that it's major. Now, if you want minor, you have to say minor. Whoops, so G and then E, C A G E D. Make sure I didn't skip any. Alright, 
those are your five basic major chords, and then we're going to do three basic minor chords, E minor, A minor, and D minor. If I'm going too fast through any of this, remember, this is just a recap, just like, or just like what I would do in a regular lesson. We go over the previous week's material and make sure you're ready for the new stuff. If not, we would practice the old stuff. Um, so now, what's next? We need to do more chord progressions and work on switching chords. That's one of the hardest things there is. Flat out, just switching chords. Because now you're not just switching one note at a time. You're switching, you know, two, three, four fingers at a time. And possibly playing different strings. It's a very big undertaking. So with those eight chords, I mean, you can play, geez, almost anything. Um, let's think, I think I mentioned doing a, a country tune. I'm not even going to specify what tune it is. I don't even want to... Real quick, my country... I love country. I love it. Um, my country playlist is probably 90 to 100 songs long. The songs I work on singing and playing or whatever. When I'm teaching and someone's working on ear training and learning tunes, I'll just press shuffle. And nine times out of ten... The song that comes on will be a one four five. Now you don't know what a one four five is. That's okay. But for example, G, C, and D. Um, Tennessee whiskey. The original Tennessee whiskey, not this. Uh, Stapleton, but not that one. That's two chords. No, the original is, uh, I think, much better. Uh, I don't know what key it's in. We, we play it in many keys, depending on who's singing it, but basically you're looking at G, C, 3, I won't strum it, sorry, let me start over. G to C, in the bar room, 3, 4, G to another G, the girl was the only girl I No D But you rescued me from reaching in for the bottom that, Alright, so that's it. So Tennessee Whiskey, you're basically looking at G, 2, 3, 4, C Tunes. Uh, if you listen to um, Merle Haggard, Ramblin' Fever. Whoa. Go G to C. G to D. Almost, e almost every song on my playlist is those three chords. What does this mean? Does that mean these songs are bad? No, it means these songs are great. And it means that you can play them with three or four lessons worth of knowledge and ability. Now you're just going to have to practice switching them. I'm going to give you another chord progression that's totally unrelated, but it's very cool and it uses these three chords, three of the chords you now know in a different way. But again, just you don't even have to play Tennessee Whiskey. Just get used to playing G to C, back to G. Then to D. I remember six strings on the G. Do an arpeggio until you get these chords down perfect. You want to do arpeggios to make sure all the notes are coming up. To C, two, three, and tap that foot. G, two, three, four, and then to D, two, three, and just keep doing that. In any order, you could play C, D, G. All right, that those three chords, magic, magic is going to happen. Uh, chord progression number two is kind of a Latin thing. Um, harmonically, it's common in Latin stuff. It's kind of this, the, uh, what's the word? Sort of, big picture would sound something like this. Fear 
you're not. We're not doing that. We're doing this. A minor. Two, three, four. To D minor. Two, three, four. To E. Two, three, four. And then you go back to D minor. Two, three, four. Let's try that again. A minor, five strings. Two, three, four. D minor, four strings. Two, three, four. E, all six. Two, three, four. Then A minor. Two, three, four. Um, one little thing you can add eventually, I wouldn't even, well, you can try it now, is to mess around with doing arpeggios. Like instead of just kind of slowly going through an arpeggio, you could kind of go. So if it's a four note chord, I might repeat one. Six note chord, I might leave one out. Or I might play two. But, you know, you want to have fun with this. And you, once you get these chords, and you can come up with your own. Just write those chords down and um, stop messing around, playing them in different orders. Uh, the next lesson we'll probably do, we'll start getting more specific with keys. And uh, maybe we'll hit like the key of G and do the G scale. Well, no, we'll probably have to stay with the C scale since we already did it. But yeah, try those two chord progressions. So you want to mess around. In short, I don't know how long I've been yakking. In short, what you want to do is start really practicing that G, C, and D chord in any order. You play all C's. As long as it's those three chords in any order. kidding when I say there are like not just hundreds and thousands of songs but like big hit songs that you will know with those chords and forget about it with with all the chords we've done you'll be hitting just about everything as far as like simple music goes so yeah work on those and then of course the A minor D minor and to the E um, and then we're going to start getting a little more into the the theory, so to speak. Like how these things are put together and how to kind of come up with your own. So we'll, we'll be getting kind of heavy kind of fast. But um, it won't be... When, when things get a little too tricky for your hands, like trying to switch all these chords, we'll, we'll get more into the academic stuff. And as soon as we pile on enough of that to last a while, we'll get back to the... Uh, the Whittly Whittly. Half hour a day minimum. That's what you need to be practicing.